guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're new here, hi, my name is Tiana Holisky, and I make fashion and lifestyle videos. Today's video is definitely going to be something that is a lot different than the regular content I deal with because I am not an emotional person, but today we are getting emotional, we are talking about our feelings, and we are going to try to be happier. So in today's video, I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to be happier. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, as well as comment down below on some of your tips on how you stay positive and happy, especially when life is throwing you some hard curveballs. And be sure to subscribe because I am posting a new video every day for the month of October because it is Utober and I am loving it. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So real quick before I get into my tips, I want to give you a little background on me and my emotions and mental health and everything like that. I am a very open book because I feel like I've been there, I've been really depressed, I've been really sad, I've like thought that this is my life, this is not how it's supposed to be. I've had very negative thoughts, very negative emotions, and a very negative mindset. Um, currently, I feel like I am in a much better place. I've learned a lot of new skills on how I can be happier, be positive, and just enjoy life because honestly, life is way too short to be unhappy and it's really important to find things that make you happy and do those things because life is short, so you need to make the most of it. I am not trying to sound preachy in this video, I'm saying that you need to be happy all the time because you have every right to be sad, you have every right to have a bad day, but trying to find ways to turn those days around, turn those bad days into good days is really important and is exactly what I'm trying to do here is trying to help you guys out to find tools to just make your life a little bit happier because if I can make your day a little bit better, I've done my job and I will be so satisfied if I make your day a little bit better. So here is a little backstory of Tiana Ray Holisky. So growing up, I was a very lucky and fortunate child. I had a great upbringing. I have an amazing family still to this day. I love every single one of them. They are, they have always supported me. They have always been there for me, helped me out, and I'm very, very thankful. But once I hit about 15 and like was in my teenage years, I was in not a great relationship. I thought it was like, I'm gonna be with him forever, blah blah blah, we broke up, that's how it happens, and I just, that just like kind of spiraled me out of control, um, I developed some eating issues, so I was, I don't want to say large, I felt like I was large when I was not, I was about 130 pounds, and then in a span of like three months, I'd lost about 20 pounds, I fluctuated weight for many, many years, and still to this day, I still have those issues, but we deal with them, they're less negative, and with the tips I'm going to share with you. So in high school I had a really tough time. I hated my body, I hated myself, I felt like I was going nowhere, I felt like I was disappointing everybody, I felt like I had no friends, and that's totally normal if you have those feelings. It's normal, but just know you're not alone and know that you aren't those things, you're not as bad as you think you are, you're not as ugly, <laughs> you're beautiful. You're not ugly, you're beautiful. Um, I know it's hard to see it right now, but pro I promise you it gets better. I know that's so cliche to say, but it does get better and there is a light at the end of the tunnel because I was there, I was, I had all the negative thoughts, I felt like I was going nowhere, I felt like I had no purpose in life, but once I just fought through it and found some ways to be happier, I'm just a very happy and positive person now. I still have my off days, but yeah, so high school was tough for me. I had a bad breakup. I lost a lot of friends because I big breakup because I live in a very small town so it's very like you're either on his side or her side and everyone chose his side which is fine. I was fine with it. I had my family, I had my mom, I had a great support system at home. Um, I did sports but I'm on the sports teams. I had some bullying issues which again at the time that was that was my world and that was everything that mattered to me and I was like, oh my gosh, like this is terrible. But looking back at it, it's all about perspective and that was just such a minor thing in my life. Because I feel like when you're in it, it's everything. It surrounds you, it engulfs you, but once you're out of it, you're like, why did I let that have such a big effect on me? So if you're there now and you're feeling like, I just can't get out of this, I promise you, in a couple years, in a couple months, in a couple days, is not going to feel that same feeling, so just hold on, just keep fighting, and I promise you it will get better. So once I was done high school, I was 
just so excited because I went to school for fashion design. I found something that I loved. I found something that I was passionate about and I was just all around happy. Like I was just absolutely in love with what I was doing. I was working hard. I had goals and I felt great. There were still times where I felt very alone, very like I was never going to be happy and all this stuff, but I just kept fighting. I kept going. I got a boyfriend. I'm still with him and that helped a lot, but I personally never thought I would be one to need somebody. And I honestly, no offense, no offense Cole, um, I don't need him to be happy, but he is just helps with that happiness. So I feel like having inner happiness and then having someone to share that happiness with is great. Um, trust me, I've had my issues, my negative issues that he's been there for, which has been great. So when I'm feeling down, he's there to bring me up. So it's always great to have that support system. And now with the pandemic, I've moved home and I didn't love it at first because it was a big change for me because I was living alone in where I was going to school, but living at home has been great. I've learned to be happy and find the positive things. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I have a great job. I'm loving what I'm doing on YouTube. I'm loving where I'm going with my life. And yeah, I've just, I'm happy. I'm happy. So now that you know my story and that I've been there, I've done that, I've learned, and I'm now I'm happy. I'm gonna show, share with you guys how you can do the same. So I've taken some notes as usual. I have some notes on how to be happier and how I've kind of been happier. So I'm gonna share them with you and we'll go through them and I will give you guys some extra tips as well. So my first tip is to be here now. So when I was in high school, I would always be thinking about someday, thinking about the future, worrying about the future, worrying about where I was going, what I was doing, and I wasn't there presently. So how I kind of learned how to be here now is by focusing and just pushing all those like, I'm stressed about work, I'm stressed about my career, I'm stressed about school, and just kind of push those thoughts aside and I was there now. So if I was on a family vacation, I would not worry about anything else around me. I wouldn't worry about my ex-boyfriend, about friends, about anything. I would just be there with my family, focus on what we were doing and taking in every moment that was there. Um, same with sports because everything ends, like high school ends, sports end. So once I hit grade 12, I was like kind of shocked that like this is the last year, like this is the last year I'll be figure skating, playing volleyball. Um, doing all the things that I love to do in school. So I was very aware that I had to be present and enjoy the moment while it lasts because nothing lasts forever and you need to just take it all in while you can. So some tips on how to be here now is to remind yourself, con like consciously remind yourself to be present. So live in the moment, take advantage of everything that is going on right now. Stop worrying about the future. I know I talk about planning a ton, but there's only so much planning you can do. Just enjoy what's happening now because nothing is for sure and nothing can be taken for granted. So my second tip on how to be happier is to plan out things to do that you love. So far too often we'll push away our hobbies, we'll push away our favorite things to do, things that make us happy because we have other things on the go, like we have to get our jobs done, we have to get schoolwork done, we have to clean the house, we have to do A, B, C, and all the way to Z before we can do what makes us happy. But this is just such a wrong way of thinking because you will never be happy if you're always just working and doing things that make you unhappy. So what I start to do is implement things that make me happy every single day. So I choose one thing to do that will absolutely make me happy, make me feel good, make me just feel less down and less sluggish. So the first step to do that is to write down everything that makes you happy. So personally, things that make me happy, I love to work out, I love to spend time with my family, I love to watch Netflix, I love to go for walks with my dog, I love to travel, I love to make YouTube videos, I love to plan, <laughs> which is such a weird thing to love, but it makes me very happy. I love to travel. Um, I love to read. I love to listen to music. So I have a ton of things on my list. Those are the things on the top of my head. So I have that list of things I can do to make me happy. And then every single day I will plan out half an hour, an hour to do those things to make sure that my day is more enjoyable, that I'm happy and feeling good about myself. So my third tip on how to be happier is to find joy in the little things. 
Um, I feel like far too often we forget to just find joy in the things that actually should bring us joy. So for example, I was working at a gas station and wasn't the best job, wasn't glamorous, definitely not where I wanted to be a couple months ago, but to make it a better job, I would literally just see a child walking with a slush and just smiling and being happy and I would just, that would bring me joy because that was just so precious and I remember when I was that age and how excited I'd be when I'd bring my two dollars to go get a slush at co-op and that just brought me so much joy, like that memory just brought me joy. So I'd always find little things that made me happy, like I'll see a dog in the window or walking down the street and that just is like, that little thing just brings me a little bit of joy. So finding the joy even in those unpleasant tasks will just make you that much happier, have a more positive mindset and less negative. So my fourth tip for you guys is to remind yourself that you are in control of your life. So. I know that when you're a kid, you still have to listen to your parents, you have to listen to your teachers, you have to listen to your boss, whatever. But you are in control. If you are unhappy with what you're doing, say you're unhappy at the place you work, you can find a new job, or you're unhappy with the field of study you're doing, you can find a new career path. You can, if you're unhappy with your day-to-day -day life, you can make a new schedule and a new routine to make yourself a little bit more happy. So remember that you are in control, and you're also in control of your thoughts. So. In high school when I would, I don't want to say I was depressed because like I wasn't diagnosed, but I was very sad a lot of the time. And it was all my fault, like yeah there is certain things that, yeah that sucked or whatever, but it was my fault because I would sit in my bedroom alone for hours, I'd listen to sad music and I would just get sad and think and overthink and overthink. So that was a very very negative coping mechanism that I did. Um, I didn't realize that I was in control, so if I just had put on happy music, if I went for a walk instead of sat in my room, and if I would have went and hung out with friends instead of being alone, like, there's so many different ways that you can just change your mind, like, you change your mind about how you're feeling. It's, it's a really hard thing to learn, like, trust me, it's taken me a lot of years to learn how to just flip that switch and find things to be happy about, other than just keeping that ball rolling of negativity, and that big heavy feeling in your chest of like something gonna get better and it just keeps growing and growing there's a way to make that feel smaller and less like it's suffocating you um, it's really hard to learn definitely if you need help go get help but it's something that you can teach yourself because I taught myself how to do it but if you need some extra support be sure to go check out some websites online I will leave some links below to some mental health websites and talk to professionals tip number five is something that people think is just easy to come by or you either have it or you don't, but it's definitely something you can learn. So tip number five is to have confidence. So I know that lots of people are not confident and that's okay, but learning how to be more confident can make you so much happier and make you so much, like the negative things don't affect you as much. So I was a performer as a kid, I was in dance, I was in figure skating, and I love to be the center of attention, so my confidence kind of came at a young age. I did lose it for a few years there when I was bullied and stuff, but since then I have gained back my confidence from just not really giving a shit, not gonna lie. Like, I just stopped kind of caring what people thought of me, stopped, like, I'd always think about, like, I wonder what he thinks about my outfit, I wonder what she's thinking about my hair, like, am I ugly, am I pretty, like, I'd always overanalyze and overthink things, so that really made my <laughs> confidence decline so now I just started to stop giving a crap like if I'm happy and if I feel good it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks and I feel like when you have confidence and you portray confidence like you have your shoulders back you have your chin up you're smiling people will perceive you as more beautiful more pretty more happy more confident so tricking your brain into being more confident by just having your shoulders back, having a chin up, and having a smile on your face, it will make you feel more confident. So it's kind of like fake it till you make it, and it works really great actually. So my sixth tip for you guys is to learn to let go. So I, I'm not going to lie, I was kind of that crazy ex-girlfriend that wanted to be back together with my boyfriend, or my ex-boyfriend. Now I look back at that and I feel like I was an idiot for doing that. I just was not able to let go. Like absolutely just wasn't able to let go and I did that for a lot of things. So 
for like how I looked or being bullied or sports or whatever. I was not able to let go. So this is something I've learned to do, learn to just kind of accept because you kind of just have to accept sometimes you just have to let go of it. So I apologize that this video was very long, but I feel like so many people could use this and I know when I was younger, I definitely could have used this as well because I, I struggled. I really, really struggled with my happiness, but now I'm in a better place. So hopefully you guys can use these tips and tricks on how to be happier as well. Be sure to comment down below what you do to make yourself happier and have a more positive mindset because I want to have a conversation about it. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel because like I said, I'm posting a new video every day of the month of October for Utober 2020. And after that, I'll be posting two videos a week and that's Wednesdays and Saturdays. That's all I have for you guys today. Be happy, be positive, be kind to yourself and have a great day.